Yeah, I feel hopelessly behind. All my friends have kids. Most of my friends who have kids are cool. But I got a couple of those who think now that they have a kid, like they, that I don't understand anything anymore. You know those people? Most basic shit. Hey, man, it's kind of cold out today. Oh, dude, you don't understand. You don't understand cold. So you got a two-year-old with a mitten up his ass, and you're trying to get chocolate up the other one's face. It's like, all right, all right, I get it, I get it. You have a more complex life, but I still understand being cold, teeth chattering, kind of lets me know, right? Mine just turned six. Mine just turned seven. I just feel hopelessly behind, you know? So what I'm actually thinking of doing, I'm thinking about adopting, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Recycle, you know? Yeah, think globally, act locally. Everything doesn't have to be brand new, you know? It's like when you redo your kitchen. You got custom up top, you got Ikea down the bottom, right? I'd love to adopt. It's a great thing to do. But if I do it, I'm not telling any of my friends. I'm just going to show up with the kid one day. <laughs> just to piss him off, right? Mine just turned six. Mine just turned seven. I'd love to just show up with an eight-year-old like Domino's. <laughs> yeah. Now I get to tell you what you don't understand. Seven-year-old, where do they turn eight? Eight is such a funny age. <laughs> Terrible tooth. Try the instant eights when just, bam, they're just there like... <laughs> all their issues. Dude, I should do it though. I should adopt. I think it's a great thing to do. And I already know what I want to get. <laughs> I want to get like an 07, 08. <laughs> Always garage. Good dentition. You know what I would love to do? I'd love to rescue some kid that works in a sweatshop. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like find the kid that made this shirt. Show up at the factory like, hey, huh? Hey! Let me bring it in. Bring it in, 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 you maniac. How you doing? You're going back to the States. L shaped couch, flat screen TV. Get in the car. The rest of you keep sewing. But you? You're coming home with me. Yeah. Dude, how easy? How easy would that kid be to race? Right? After the hell he's been through, all I gotta do is let him sit down. I am immediately the greatest human being this kid has ever met. <laughs> Just bring him on. Yeah, man, have a seat. He'd be like, I get to, I get to sit down. Yeah, lay down on the couch. He'd be like, it's like a cloud. It's like a cloud. <laughs> yeah, I'll get him a bowl of Fritos put on cricket or soccer, one of those sweatshop sports. I don't know. <laughs> Kid would love me. So that's my first draft pick, all right? <laughs> Coming out of the gate with that. In the second round, I probably get like, uh, uh, I probably get like an 05 boy soldier, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure up the offensive line. You gotta protect the blind side. <laughs> yeah, that's how fucked up the world is. There's little boys out there fighting in wars. So that's, that's a twofer. I can drag him out of that hell, give him something of what's left of his childhood, and God forbid, if the dollar ever collapses, right? <laughs> Shit goes south, zombies take over. I got backup, you know? <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm going to be the problem. Meanwhile, I got this sawed-off Chuck Norris. 
standing next to me, 170 kills. Confirmed fucking kills. They're not stories. They make a flamethrower of like a vacuum cleaner and a toaster. You can't coach that, right? I gotta be honest with you. I feel like I'd, I'd have to go easier on the discipline with the boy soldier, you know? <laughs> I might be nuts, but I feel like I could come down on the sweatshop kit, all right? <laughs> I said, get in there and clean up your goddamn room. I'm getting sick of this shit. Goes to you too if you want, but you! <laughs> So don't even start, uh, don't even start that shit. Don't even start that shit. You say that every time. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Every fucking time you say that, and you know the answer. Now, you want me to say it again? Fine, I'll, I'll break it down to you, okay? You know what? You know why it is? You know why? You wanna know why? Cause you're so, all right? Yeah, yeah, dude, you so. Dude, he's fucking killed people. You understand that? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have to make his bed, too. No, he doesn't. Because he doesn't sleep in the bed, he's out in the bushes all night talking to himself. Freaking me the fuck out. All right? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. He scares me, too. He scares me, too. Don't even start that shit. You wanted a big brother, and I got you one. Don't even start that shit. All right? All right, you're right, you're right, okay? Stop crying, stop crying, okay? Shouldn't he yelled at you? Okay, I, I just thought I could fucking, you know, bring him in, you know, give him a couple of Pop-Tarts. I figured he'd chill out. <laughs> fucking sitting there looking through his eyebrows, doing that full metal jacket shit, you know? <laughs> nah, you can't give him back. It doesn't work that way. Oh, hey, there he is! There he is, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Yeah, we were just talking about you, you know? Just, you just, you know, just doing like a little surprise thing. You feeling all right? You feeling all right? You're not looking through those eyebrows, huh? Everything okay? 